Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss some textbook questions. Our first question is, we have to identify the substances which are oxidized and the substances reduced from the chemical reaction. Our first example is zinc oxide plus carbon it will give zinc plus carbon monoxide. So we have to identify the substance which is oxidized and the substance which is reduced in this chemical reaction. It is clear that carbon is oxidized to CO. Therefore, carbon is oxidized. C is oxidized. As we all can see that C is converting to CO. So, carbon is getting oxidized. And zinc oxide is getting reduced to zinc. So, zinc oxide is reduced. Our second chemical reaction is sodium is reacting with oxygen and it is producing twice Na2O. Now in this chemical reaction the substance which is getting oxidized is Na sodium. It is converting into Na2O. So oxidized substance which is getting oxidized is sodium. Now the substance which is getting reduced is obviously oxygen. Now third chemical reaction copper oxide is reacting with hydrogen and it is reducing copper and water. Now in this reaction the substance which is getting oxidized is hydrogen as hydrogen is converted into H2O that is water. So the substance which is getting oxidized is hydrogen and the substance which is getting reduced is copper oxide. It is reducing into copper. Copper oxide is reducing into copper hence it is reduced in this reaction. Now let us discuss second example. Our second example is why do gold and silver not corrode in moist air? Gold and silver are less electro positive metals. Hence they do not corrode in moist air and they are also known as noble metals. So they do not corrode in moist air. Now let us discuss our third question is why respiration is considered as an exothermic reaction? Respiration as an exothermic reaction. Why? The biological oxidation of glucose with oxygen in the cells of our body produces carbon dioxide, water and heat energy and the reaction involved is C6H12O6 this is glucose it reacts with oxygen 
present in the atmosphere 6O2 it will give 6CO2 plus 6H2O it is aqueous it is liquid glucose is also aqueous and oxygen is also aqueous so this is the chemical reaction involved and along with these heat is also evolved in this reaction since heat is evolved in this reaction respiration is considered as an exothermic reaction now let us come to question number four question number four says why does the color of copper sulfate solution change when an iron nail is dipped in it color of copper to sulfate change when an iron nail is dipped in it so the reaction will be like this CuSO4 that is copper sulfate which is aqueous and which is blue in color reacts with iron iron nail which is obviously solid it will give iron sulfate FeSO4 aqueous and copper which is solid FeSO4 is light green in color And copper will be in red color so this is a displacement reaction in this reaction a more active element that is iron displaces another less active element from its compound copper sulfate the red copper metal gets deposited on the iron nails the color of the solution changes from blue to light green due to the formation of Fe2 plus ions. Now let us discuss another example. This example says Why does the color of heated copper powder becomes black when air is passed over it? So color of heated copper powder becomes black when air is passed over it so the reaction occurs when air is passed over heated copper powder is twice copper plus oxygen in gaseous form copper in solid form when heat is passed it will turn into twice UO which is black in color and it is solid in this reaction copper is oxidized to copper oxide which is black in color the surface of copper powder gets coated with a black copper site thanks for watching edupedia world videos